This is George from Cryptos R Us, and this is an ICO review of Covesting. Let me start out by saying this is a sponsored review. But towards the end of this video, I will be giving a Cryptos R Us rating in terms of how I feel about this ICO compared to some of the other ones I've seen. And that rating is unbiased, there's no favoritism, um, and it has not been shared with the company. So you guys will be seeing the rating for the first time along with them. And this is how I will be doing all my videos in the future for those that are watching this for the first time. All right, so let's take a look. This is their website, Covesting. Um, obviously from this, from this here, you saw that you could see that they already raised 1.1 million during their pre-ICO. And now we're 70, they sold 76% of their, uh, of their remaining tokens in the current ICO. And they have a 28% discount and it's going lower soon. All right. So Covesting is a copy trading platform or mirror trading platform. And what's interesting is it's, it's for cryptocurrency. They have this in the stock world already. So basically the idea around this is you have two types of people. You have the amateur investor and you have the professional traders. Okay. And the professional, the professional traders are just people that have a lot of experience. They don't even have to be, they don't have to have any fancy credentials or anything like that. It's just people that know what they're doing. So basically they could come on to Convesting, sign up, this platform will start tracking their performance. And as an amateur investor, um, you come in and you get to see all these traders on the platform and you can see their performance. And since you're an amateur, um, amateur investor, you don't really know what you're doing. Um, you get to copy what these guys are doing and that's what the platform will do for you. So for example, you might come across it. Let's, for example, you are an amateur investor. You're dipping your toes into the cryptocurrency world and you have no idea what you're doing. You, you know about Bitcoin, you know about Ethereum, but what about Dash, Monero, NEO, um, IOTA, like these other things, you might not, you might not have ever heard about them before, nor of course you don't know how to trade them. So some of these traders have a lot of more experience and you can see, and I'll show you this demo that they have, that they'll have an allocation and every, every trade that they do is tracked. So if you like what they're doing, you get to see the returns that they, they have been giving. And you're like, Hey, I want to, I want to copy what this guy is doing. And this platform will allow you to do that and allow you to copy up to 20 traders uh, strategies. Um, so it's very unique. It's really built for people who know what they're doing and make money by getting other people to copy their strategy. And it's for um, newcomers, amateur investors that really don't have the time to do all the research and do all the trades themselves. They just want to know that they, they want to follow someone else that has more experience. And that, that's pretty much it. That's what copy trading is or mirror trading. Um, so let's take a, you know, let's take a look at their demo. I think this will make a little bit more sense. Of course, the demo is not full fledged. So you guys have to, um, so I have to, I, I seen this before. So you have to picture some of these things in action is it's, it's not working hundred percent. All right, so this is their demo. When you go in, um, it's you know it's pretty user friendly. It looks good. Uh, the the GUI looks great. You know you can see your portfolio results. Um, you can sort it. Um, and then here, for example, there are two traders that that uh, I am following right now. So let's say I am a newcomer to the platform. What I will what I would, would first do is go into the wallet and deposit whatever I need to. Okay. You need to deposit your, you know, BTC or ETH. Um, otherwise you wouldn't be able to copy what these guys are doing. And you do need to have CO, COV tokens. That's a co-vesting token. It is actually a utility token. Without that, you're not able to trade on the platform. And then once you have that, you can sort through, you know, the available traders I mentioned. Now these guys will show you, you know, let's say, let's, 
let's pick the top one. Let's say Bill here, 158 percent. Well, how did they how did they achieve that? You know, I'll show you their top uh, holdings, um, and I'll show you month by month. You know what what kind of uh, returns they've been getting. Um, even though he's making that much, he's only gotten two stars. Um, so basically, if you like, you know, you like what he's doing and you want to copy it, basically you hit follow and that's it. And then you go back to your dashboard. I mean, again, this is a beta, but if this was true, then he will be listed here and you will be following him. So this is the this is a platform. It's very very simple. I mean, if they can make the real one as simple as this. Um, it gives you all the information you need. It's very easy to search. You can, there's news, your wallet, your reports, which will be really good. Um, markets, settings, so forth. All right, let's go back. How do I go back? Here we go. So, go vesting. That's what the platform looks like. Um, let's scroll down a little bit. They have a nifty video. I'm not going to show you that, yet, but if, for those that are interesting and you want to learn more about it, definitely check out this video. Let's look at the team and the, these three. So you got Dimitri, Tim, and Dennis. Okay, and I pulled them up um, just to see what kind of you know what kind of experience they have. Dimitri, who is the CEO. If you look through here, he's also a business owner. He worked at Saxo Bank. Um, so he definitely has some financial background, also for HNWI. Um, he went to business school. He's also volunteering um, for, for this company. So definitely someone with a financial background and an entrepreneur background. Um, and then let's look at the other fellow, Tim, the co-founder. He's a COO. Um, looks like he, you know, he's a trader investor. <laughs> um, he worked at Saxo Bank before. That's probably how he met Dimitri. Uh, trader, trader, um, you know, finance degree. So this guy is definitely involved with financing and trading. And then this last co-founder which I looked up, he he actually lists himself, I looked at it, he lists himself as a, he's a board advisor and co-founder. So it seems like he's gonna be a little bit more hands-off and it makes more sense because this guy is a total entrepreneur. Um, if you look at what he says here, you know, he, he's, he's a CEO, board member, is a driver, evangelist, and he helps companies and, you know, he's an influential people in the uh, fintech world, social media. I mean, this guy's all over the place. It sounds very impressive. You know, he has his own company right here that he's running. He's on a board advisor for Glance Technology, obviously for co-vesting. Um, there's a company that he founded. So this guy is very well versed in a lot of things. Um, and he's also co-founder, but it, it seems like he's going to be more hands off, more of playing the bigger picture advisor kind of role. Uh, let's go back. So the team seems pretty good. I mean, they're not well known guys. Well, you know, at least I haven't heard of Dennis, but if you guys have great, but uh, for mo most part, CEO, CEO, not well known guys, not guys that's been in the crypto space. Um, let's continue on. Okay. So this is, this is, let me go here. Yeah, this is actually kind of important. So this is how the profit works. So as a trader, um, if you if you're trading and you know what you're doing, obviously, uh, otherwise you wouldn't be on here. Um, so that's a question mark. I don't know if Covesting actually vets who they let into the platform because any Joe Schmo can just say, hey, I'm a brilliant investor and join in. Um, I don't know how they verify the traders, but um, let's say, okay, if you're a trader, you got people to follow you, right? And out of the profits that you make, the 100%, 10% goes to co-vesting. That's their take. 
as an investor, as an amateur investor, and you're following someone, let's say whoever you follow made a thousand dollars, um, seven hundred twenty of that thousand dollars goes to you. Eighteen percent goes to the trader, so the trader makes one hundred eighty dollars, and um, then a hundred dollars goes to investing. Now you might be thinking, well, as a trader, that seems a little unfair. Why do they only make eighteen percent? Well, the, the reason is because traders can end up making a lot more depending on how many people are following them. The investor is just making it based on their own, you know, their own allocation or um, whoever they're copying. But as a trader. You can have a hundred people, you can have a thousand people, you could have a, a million people follow you. And then you're making 18% on top of every single person uh, that you're making money for. So as a trader, 18% might seem small if you only have say one person following you, but if you have 10 or a hundred, then this starts adding up very quickly. So that's kind of like the, um, that's how they work in terms of how they divide up the profits. Um, there's somewhere in here. I might have missed it. Uh, okay, here we go. So, in terms of um, in terms of just like fees that Covesting will be taking, besides the ten percent um, fee that they're taking from the profits, anytime someone actually deposits the fund, they're taking two percent of that as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> And it looks like they're taking 50% of all their earnings and they're doing buyback and burn programs. Although, you know, they're, they're saying that right now, but there's no set, um, set timeline for that. Now, in terms of the ICO details, the token details, uh, the allocation distribution, I, it's ERC 20 base, no surprise there. Uh, what is surprising is a 20 million cap which is 1 million under Bitcoin, as you guys know, but 20 million these days is very low. You got ICOs and companies coming out billions upon billions of tokens. So to see something, to see ICO with a small amount of tokens is great. Um, and the allocation is great too. You're looking at, um, they're selling 75% of that through the, the ICO. Um, you know what, the team is only holding 13%, which is not bad. Uh, they gave 7% to the pre-ICO people and 5% to the Bounty, which this is, in my opinion, really good because there are some ICOs where they're, they're now only selling like 30% of the tokens and the team gets to keep 40 or 50% of the total tokens, and, and that's just pure greed. So this is actually looking really good. Uh, the stages, you know, we're in the stage two right now, which is 28%. So there was a 35% and it's going to go down and down and down. In total, they're looking to sell 15 million tokens. Um, I did want to stress, I went into, oh, this is the beta, the roadmap. So the roadmap is not that complete in my opinion, okay? So they have Q2 to Q3, Q4, which is where we're in, and then Q1, Q2, Q3, and that's it. There's not, it doesn't go on and on and on. Um, so right now, obviously, they're in this phase. They're trying to wrap things up. The beta version of the platform, now this is important, obviously, is Q1 of 2018, and also exchange listing of the COV tokens. Um, unfortunately, they don't list, this is the beta, they don't actually list when the real platform is coming out okay so I'm, I'm hoping that's q4 2018 if not then you know it'll be q1 of 2019 what i'm thinking is they probably did it on purpose because they're going to build more and more on top of that it's kind of like google where it's beta forever and then they just keep adding improvements until it becomes non-beta because right here in q2 it says platform improvement mobile app so i'm thinking that's the reason why um so i'm um, so if that's the case, then this is fine. So they're just going to improve it as time goes on. And, and that's pretty much it. They go add derivatives. Um, and you know, they're, they're just going to be adding more and more. Now the white paper, which is pretty, pretty good read. It's not too difficult. You know, a lot of these white papers are so technical and with hundred something pages that no one wants to look at. I stopped by this disclaimer page because I just want you guys to know. COV tokens are not securities, they're actually utility based so that for those that are in the United States or uh, anywhere else that is banning uh, ICOs, 
um, because they are securities. This is a utility. Um, they do want to mention that, yeah, the COV tokens, there's no guarantee of growing value. Ethereum, if there's anything going on with the Ethereum blockchain or whatever, they're not responsible for that. There's some uncertainty with the regulations. Also, I want to mention there, there's no guarantees of making money with this platform, okay? So just because you're following someone that has you know 100% return for the last year, that doesn't mean the next month or two or six months you can't they might be losing money i just want to state that because there's no guarantees so if you copy a trader they happen to lose money you're going to lose money they're not co-vesting is not responsible for that you're not going to get paid back and the trader you're following is not responsible for that so just keep that in mind um and that's pretty much it let me bring up my Nifty PowerPoint here. All right, so pros. Uh, I think it's a great idea and it tackles a need. One of the things I always look for in ICOs is, is there a need, is there a problem that this company's trying to solve? And I say, yes. Um, I talk with new investors all the time or just people in general that want to get uh, involved with cryptocurrencies and they don't know how to get started co-vesting platform a copy trading platform is perfect for that because anyone could jump on and simply need to know how to transfer in some BTC or ETH or Ripple or whatever the platform supports and you simply copy whoever you want and that's it um, I think it's a great idea I think um, as cryptocurrencies get more and more popular in 2018 uh, this platform uh, will get a lot of use. Uh, token and alloc token allocation and distribution. I, I looked at it with you guys. I think it's great this day and age um, for a low token count and the distribution is is distributed properly. I think that looks good. The team looks like it has a solid background. Okay, so the CEO, CEO. They both worked for banks. They're both financial guys. Um, they are both entrepreneurs. Obviously, uh, you know, otherwise they wouldn't be starting co-vesting. And another uh, Dennis. Um, he seems like he's a well-versed guy. Been all over the place. I'm sure he's leading them correctly with his advice and strategy. Um, token is a utility, not a not a security. So I think that's a bonus because of United States is huge. And a lot of uh, ICOs can't be conducted or sold here. I think that's go help co-vesting, um, and it's go help them with other countries that also have similar rules. Um, beta is out in Q1, so I do like that their their platform is coming out very shortly. A lot of these new ICOs, you know, they they're taking on money and they're not releasing their beta or alpha for a year. So I think that's great. Um, so those are the pros. Let's look at the cons. Um, traders will dictate the success of the company. So I mentioned one of the question marks is how do they um, vet whoever is going to come into the program and become a trader? Um, that's going to be a hard one to tackle because if they are going to uh, kind of interview and make sure they're appropriate people, I don't know how they go verify their their you know their trading history and stuff like that because. You can have a whole bunch of people that's coming onto the platform and maybe they just get lucky. Maybe they come in at a good time during the market where everything's going up so they show substantial uh, gains. And then when the when downturn happens, then they turn all red. And if they turn all red, all these you know investors that are copying them will leave the company. They're gonna be losing money left and right and they're gonna be leaving. So I think in terms of this, Covesting, it's important for them to have some kind of process to make sure that they, the traders that's on the platform know what they're doing and they're good because, you know, without the traders, this company really wouldn't exist because no one would come and actually copy uh, any of these traders. So that's going to be important. They're going to be dictating the success of this company. Uh, there are lots of fees. Um, so 2% to deposit, in my opinion, is a little high. Success fee of 10% is also high. Um, I could see the fee structure being much lower than that because keep in mind, you know, just sending Bitcoin has a fee, right? So that there's a fee, and then co-vesting also takes a fee. 
um, it adds up. And plus the success fee, there's a success fee which they've taken, but there's no unsuccess fee, right? It's not like they're going to give you a refund if the trade is unsuccessful. So I think the fees is a, is a con. Uh, I just mentioned no protection from loss. And I, um, I want to stress that because any kind of investing, you have to take it as um, money that you, you, you almost have to look at it as like money you already lost. Okay, no one wants to hear that, but you got to make sure you can only invest what you're willing to lose. So if you invest a thousand, you invest 10,000. If you lost it and zero the next day, you got to make sure that you're okay. Okay, and co-vesting is going by the same, same theory is where they're assuming or they're hoping or their legal terms will enforce that um, you're you're well aware that there are, there are no guarantees of returns. You can lose money by doing this. So just so you know, that is uh, that is a possibility. Um, I also mentioned this full finished product not on a roadmap yet. And this could be because they're just building on their beta and they're just go continuously build on and on and on until it's done. But, you know, I just noticed that there was uh, some of the other roadmaps I've seen are a bit more complete with more stages. And I'll tell you finish roadmap or finish product release. All right. So now for a moment of truth, what is the rating? And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not sure this with anyone. This was not predetermined anyway, unbiased. This is, in my opinion, uh, what I feel this ICO is should be rated at. And I'm giving it a four, okay? Four out of five. Um, and it's because of the things I said, out of the pros and cons. I think the cons, you know, can be fixed, right? The things with fees can be fixed. I think the way uh, they handle traders can be fixed. And I think those are the two biggest cons. Now, in terms of the, the, the platform, not on the roadmap, I think I already answered my own question. Uh, and then um, as for um, any kind of investing, I think it's it's taken, uh, I think it's common knowledge that you might, there's no guarantees you could lose. So, um, but out of the pros, I think this is really good. I think this is a great idea. And that, I think that is the most important actually. It's a great idea, it solves a problem. Um, the team is good, the, the token allocation is good. And, um, and overall, um, and it's also not a utility, it is a utility, not security. So overall, I really like this idea. I really like the company and I think this ICO will do really well. Um, and it looks like they already are because they already sold 76% of their tokens. But uh, even past that, I think once this gets um, traded on the exchanges, I think it's going to do really well. And once this platform really opens up, I think um, we're really going to then see what kind of um, draw this has. And I think it is going to draw a lot of amateur investors into the platform. All right, guys, that's it for my ICO review of Covesting. Hope you have enjoyed this. Um, and please subscribe if you like, uh, if you like what you see. Um, leave the comments below if you have anything you want to add to it and i will see you guys next time for my next ico review all right take co-vesting platform a copy trading platform is perfect for that because anyone could jump on and simply need to know how to transfer in some btc or eth or ripple or whatever the platform supports and you simply copy whoever you want and that's it um, I think it's a great idea. I think um, as cryptocurrencies get more and more popular in 2018, uh, this platform uh, will get a lot of use. Uh, token and alloc token allocation and distribution, I, I looked at it with you guys. I think it's great this day and age um, for a low token count and the distribution is, is distributed properly. I think that looks good. The team looks like it has a solid background. Okay, so the CEO, CEO, they both worked for banks. They're both financial guys. Um, they are both entrepreneurs. Obviously, uh, you know, otherwise they wouldn't be starting co-vesting. And another uh, Dennis, um, he seems like he's a well-versed guy, been all over the place. I'm sure he's leading them correctly with his advice and strategy. Um, Token is a utility, not a not a security. So I think that's a bonus because of United States is huge and a lot of uh, ICOs can't be conducted or sold here. I think that's going to help co-vesting um, and it's going to help them with other countries that also have similar rules. Um, beta is out in Q1. So I do like that they're, 
their platform is coming out very shortly. A lot of these new ICOs, you know, they, they're taking on money and they're not releasing their beta or alpha for a year. So I think that's great. Um, so those are the pros. Let's look at the cons. Um, traders will dictate the success of the company. So I mentioned one of the question marks is how do they um, vet whoever is going to come into the program and become a trader? Um, that's going to be a hard one to tackle because if they are go uh, kind of interview and make sure they're the appropriate people, I don't know how they go verify their their you know their trading history and stuff like that because you can have a whole bunch of people that's coming onto the platform and maybe they just get lucky. Maybe they come in at a good time during the market where everything's going up so they show substantial uh, gains. And then when the when downturn happens, then they turn all red. And if they turn all red, all these you know investors that are copying them will leave the company. They're gonna be losing money left and right and they're gonna be leaving. So I think in terms of just Covesting, it's important for them to have some kind of process to make sure that the the traders that's on the platform know what they're doing and they're good because you know without the traders this company really wouldn't exist because no one would come and actually copy. Definitely check out this video. Let's look at the team and the these three. So you got Dimitri, Tim, and Dennis. Okay, and I pulled them up. Um, just to see what kind of, you know, what kind of experience they have. Dimitri, who is the CEO, if you look through here, he's also a business owner. He worked at Saxo Bank. Um, so he definitely has some financial background, also for HNWI. Um, he went to business school. He's also volunteering um, for, for this company. So definitely someone with a financial background and an entrepreneur background. Um, and then let's look at the other fellow, Tim, the co-founder, he's a COO. Um, looks like he, you know, he's a trader investor. <laughs> um, he worked at Saxo Bank before, that's probably how he met Dimitri. Uh, trader, trader. Um, you know, finance degree. So this guy is definitely involved with financing and trading. And then this last co-founder, which I looked up, he he actually lists himself. I looked at it. He lists himself as a he's a board advisor and co-founder. So it seems like he's gonna be a little bit more hands off, and it makes more sense because this guy is a total entrepreneur. Um, if you look at what he says here. You know, he, he's, he's a CEO, board member, is a driver, evangelist, and he helps companies. And, you know, he's an influential people in the uh, fintech world, social media. I mean, this guy's all over the place. It sounds very impressive. You know, he has his own company right here that he's running. He's on a board advisor for Glance Technology, obviously for co-vesting. Um, there's a company that he founded. So this guy is very well versed in a lot of things um, and he's also co-founder but it, it seems like he's going to be more hands off more of playing the bigger picture advisor kind of role uh, let's go back so the team seems pretty good I mean they're not well known guys well you know at least I haven't heard of Dennis but if you guys have great but uh, for mo most part CEO CEO not well-known guys, not guys that's been in the crypto space. Um, let's continue on. Okay, so this is, this is, let me go here. Yeah, this is actually kind of important. So this is how the profit works. So as a trader, um, if, you, if you're trading and you know what you're doing, obviously, it's doing. And this platform will allow you to do that and allow you to copy up to 20 traders uh, strategies. Um, so it's very unique. It's really built for people who know what they're doing and make money by getting other people to copy their strategy. And it's for um, newcomers, amateur investors that really don't have the time to do all the research and do all the trades themselves. They just want to know that they they want to follow someone else that has more experience 
and that that's pretty much it that's what copy trading is or mirror trading um, so let's take a you know let's take a look at their demo I think this will make a little mo bit more sense of course the demo is not full-fledged so you guys have to um, so I have to I, I seen this before so you have to picture some of these things in action is it's, it's not working 100% all right so this is their demo when you go in um, it's you know it's pretty user-friendly it looks good uh, the, the GUI looks great you know you can see your portfolio results um, you can sort it um, and then here for example there are two traders that that uh, I am following right now so let's say I am a newcomer to the platform what I will what I would, would first do is go into the wallet and deposit whatever I need to okay you need to deposit your you know BTC or ETH um, otherwise you wouldn't be able to copy what these guys are doing and you do need to have COV, COV tokens that's a co-vesting token it is actually a utility token without that you're not able to trade on the platform and then once you have that you can sort through you know the available traders I mentioned now these guys will show you you know let's say let's let's pick the top one let's say bill here 158 percent well how do they how do they achieve that you know I'll show you their top uh, holdings um, and I'll show you month by month you know what what kind of uh, returns they've been getting um, even though he's making that much he's only gotten two stars um, so basically if you like you know you like what he's doing and you want to copy it basically you hit follow and that's it and then you go back to your dashboard I mean again this is a beta but if this was true then he will be listed here and you will be following him so this is the this is the platform it's very very simple I mean if they can make the real one as simple as this um, it gives you all the information you need It's very easy to search there's news your wallet your reports which will be really good um, um, so he definitely has some financial background also for HNWI um, he went to business school he's also volunteering um, for for this company so definitely someone with a financial background and an entrepreneur background um, and then let's look at the other fellow, Tim, the co-founder, he's a COO. Um, it looks like he, you know, he's a trader investor. <laughs> um, he worked at Saxo Bank before. That's probably how he met Dimitri, uh, trader, trader, um, you know, finance degree. So this guy is definitely involved with financing and trading. And then this last co-founder, which I looked up, he he actually lists himself. I looked at it. He lists himself as a he's a board advisor and co-founder. So it seems like he's gonna be a little bit more hands-off, and it makes more sense because this guy is a total entrepreneur. Um, if you look at what he says here, you know he, he's he's a CEO, board member, is a driver evangelist and he helps companies and you know he's an influential people in the uh, fintech world social media i mean this guy's all over the place it sounds very impressive you know he has his own company right here that he's running he's on a board advisor for glance technology obviously for co-vesting um there's a company that he founded so this guy is very well versed in a lot of things um, and he's also co-founder but it, it seems like he's gonna be more hands-off more playing the bigger picture advisor kind of role uh, let's go back so the team seems pretty good I mean they're not well-known guys well you know at least I haven't heard of Dennis but if you guys have great but uh, for mo most part CEO CEO not well-known guys, not guys that's been in the crypto space. Um, let's continue on. Okay, so this is, this is, let me go here. Yeah, this is actually kind of important. So this is how the profit works. So as a trader, um, if you, 
if you're training and you know what you're doing, obviously, uh, otherwise you wouldn't be on here. Um, so that's a question mark. I don't know if co-vesting actually vets who they let into the platform because any Joe Schmo can just say, hey, I'm a brilliant investor and join in. Um, I don't know how they verify the traders, but um, let's say, okay, if you're a trader, you got people to follow you, right? And I entrepreneur background. Um, and then let's look at the other fellow, Tim, the co-founder, he's a COO. Um, looks like he, you know, he's a trader investor. <laughs> um, he worked at Saxo Bank before. That's probably how he met Dimitri. Uh, trader, trader, um, you know, finance degree. So this guy is definitely involved with financing and trading. And then this last co-founder, which I looked up, he he actually lists himself. I looked at it. He lists himself as a he's a board advisor and co-founder. So it seems like he's going to be a little bit more hands off. And it makes more sense because this guy is a total entrepreneur. Um, if you look at what he says here, you know, he, he's, he's a CEO, board member, is a driver, evangelist, and he helps companies and you know, he's an influential people in the uh, fintech world, social media. I mean, this guy's all over the place. It sounds very impressive. You know, he has his own company right here that he's running. He's on a board advisor for Glance Technology, obviously for co-vesting. Um, there's a company that he founded. So this guy is very well versed in a lot of things. Um, and he's also co-founder, but it, it seems like he's going to be more hands off, more playing the bigger picture advisor kind of role. Uh, let's go back. So the team seems pretty good. I mean, they're not well known guys. Well, you know, at least I haven't heard of Dennis, but if you guys have great, but uh, for mo most part, CEO, CEO, not well known guys, not guys that's been in the crypto space. Um, let's continue on. Okay. So this is, this is, let me go here. Yeah, this is actually kind of important. So this is how the profit works. So as a trader, um, if you if you're trading and you know what you're doing, obviously, uh, otherwise you wouldn't be on here. Um, so that's a question mark. I don't know if co-vesting actually vets who they let into the platform because any Joe Schmo can just say, hey, I'm a brilliant investor and join in. Um, I don't know how they verify the traders, but um, let's say, okay, if you're a trader, you got people to follow you, right? And out of the profits that you make, the 100%, 10% goes to co-vesting. That's their take. As an investor, as an amateur investor, and you're following someone, let's say whoever you follow made $1,000, um, 720 of that thousand dollars goes to you 18 percent goes to the investing sign up this platform will start tracking their performance and as an amateur investor um, you come in and you get to see all these traders on the platform and you can see their performance and since you're an amateur um, amateur investor you don't really know what you're doing um, you get to copy what these guys are doing and that's what the platform will do for you so for example, you might come across it. Let's, for example, you are an amateur investor. You're dipping your toes into the cryptocurrency world and you have no idea what you're doing. You, you know about Bitcoin, you know about Ethereum, but what about Dash, Monero, NEO, um, IOTA, like these other things, you might, not, you might not have ever heard about them before, nor of course you don't know how to trade them. So some of these traders, have a lot of more experience and you can see and I'll show you this demo that they have that they'll have an allocation and every every trade that they do is tracked so if you like what they're doing you get to see the returns that they they have been giving and you're like hey I want to I want to copy what this guy is doing and this platform will allow you to do that and allow you to copy up to 20 traders uh, strategies um, so it's very unique. It's really built for people who know what they're doing and make money by getting other people to copy their strategy. 
and it's for um, newcomers, amateur investors that really don't have the time to do all the research and do all the trades themselves. They just want to know that they they want to follow someone else that has more experience. And that that's pretty much it. That's what copy trading is or mirror trading. Um, so let's take a you know let's take a look at their demo. I think this will make a little bit more sense. Of course, the demo is not full fledged, so you guys have to. Um, so I have to. I, I've seen this before, so you have to picture some of these things in action. Is it's it's not working 100%. All right, so this is their demo. When you go in, um, it's you know it's pretty user friendly. It looks good. Uh, the the GUI looks great. You know you can see your portfolio results. Um, you can sort it. Um, and then here, for example, there are two traders that that uh, I am following right now. So let's say I am a newcomer to the platform. What I will what I would, would first do is go into the wallet and deposit whatever I need to. Okay, you need to deposit your, you know, BTC or ETH. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to copy what these guys are doing. And you do need to have CO, COV tokens. That's a co-vesting token. It is actually a utility token without.